Aries, welcome to your sexual magic deep dive reading. Guys, we're going to jump right into it, but before we do, I just want to announce that I am giving away a free personal reading. You can enter that contest by commenting down below and liking this video, um, and I will choose someone at the end of the month to win. All of the information is down in the description box down below. If you cross watch and like another video and comment on another video as well, that will count as a second entry. Um, so yeah, again, all the information is down in the description box. So let's dive right in here, Aries. We're going to find out who's coming towards you, who they are, their person, their sexual characteristics, okay? We're going to see how this person is going to be feeling about you. And we're also going to see, um, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into their sexual energy towards you as well, all right? If you're interested in a free personal read, sorry, if you're interested in a personal reading, just in general, um, all of my information is down below. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see all of my reviews from previous clients. Um, so yeah, bottom of the deck, Virgo energy. We've got the hermit here. This is someone very mature, someone who knows who the fuck they are, what they want, how they want it, when they want it, okay? Um... This person could be older than you, not necessarily so. They could just be more mature than you in general. This person is the type of person who um, is in their money. They're very grounded. They're good with their finances, good with their self-care. They know themselves. This is someone who knows who they are, okay? They've taken time by themselves to know um, what it is that they like, what it is they don't like um, in every area of their life here, okay? This is the type of person who walks alone, okay? They are very selective about people that they become involved in, with here, okay? They don't just go for anybody. They're not driven by passion. They're not driven by emotion. They're driven by their own values and beliefs, okay, is what I'm picking up here heavily. Um, again, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Guys, please excuse me. I'm trying to talk today, but it's not <laughs> it's not going that great. Um, but yes, Virgo energy here. We've got Sagittarius energy. We've got Cancer. We've got Aquarius energy. And we have got Aries. Yeah, like I said, this person knows who they are. They're very confident, okay? Um, they do have a lot of passion. They do have a lot of drive. Um, in regards to sex, the Hermit energy... Um, is probably one of the best lovers in the deck uh, because they've taken time to know what it is that they want, what it is that they like, and because they're so selective. Um, they're usually pretty excellent lovers, okay? Very confident, very passionate, okay? This could be someone that a lot of people really desire, all right? They give off um, a very strong sexual energy and the confidence as well is very attractive here, okay? Um, however, this person is also very emotional, all right? This person is influenced by the moon. You might find that when they become too deep in their emotions that they kind of retreat and go inside themselves here. Uh, but they do have a very nurturing energy. They have the, the ability to nurture others um, and show emotion, which is great, great balance here, okay? One characteristic about this person is they have no problem taking whatever it is that they need. Um, I'm not really seeing this as a trickery card. I'm just saying I'm seeing this as an energy where as if this person wants it, they're going to take it. Okay. Um, the thing about the Seven of Swords is, is that people see it as trickery, but this individual, um, if you look at the original... Uh, Rider weight tarot. I believe he takes five swords and leaves two. So it's not like this individual is leaving with everything. They're taking what they need. Okay. Um, but yeah, this person's an intellectual. This person um, is very strategic about their movements here. Okay. Um, like I said, if they want something, they're going to get it, but they're going to use their logic. Um, they're going to be very analytical here with this Aquarius energy, okay? Um, but yes, this person, this person's healed, okay? In terms of sexual energy, this person, um, this person's very patient, okay, is what I wanna say. This person um, believes in alchemy as well. This person 
kind of believes that whatever is for him will come to him or her. Take it how it resonates. Gender is not a thing here. Um, I'm just reading the card. Um, this person believes what's for them is what will come to them. All right. They're a strong believer in that. Um, sexually, you'll find that this person is pretty fluid, pretty patient. Um, they don't mind you taking control. They have the ability to be submissive here. Um, I'm picking up an energy of someone with, you know, dark hair, dark eyes, um, a little bit of mystery. All right. You might find this person's a bit of a wallflower, um, not really in the crowd, even though they are very confident. It's like they don't really, even though they are very confident, they're not the type of person that's going to be in the limelight. Okay. This person may have an office job. This person, um, like I said, they're not in the limelight. They're very... They, they kind of keep to themselves here with the Hermit card. They're not going to be big in the spotlight. People are attracted to this person, but this person, again, more like a wallflower. Unless they're interested in you, they're not going to come towards you. Um, I think they're very selective about the people that they're attracted to as well. I feel like the person that they're attracted to needs to have a certain look, um, a certain energy coming off of them here, especially sexually. Um they want someone who's a little more mysterious i think not that really uh is crazy in the limelight as well i think this person wants somebody who matches their energy is what i'm seeing here okay okay i'm gonna move this up um so let's dive in and see how this person is feeling about you okay definitely more of a wallflower than they're very confident though don't get it twisted they're not like it's not to say that they, um, it's not to say that they are insecure or anything like that because they are very confident that they just, they're, they're very methodical is what I'm seeing here, okay? So in terms of how they feel about you, they see potential here, but they, they need to make a decision. I feel like this person's in their head. I feel like they have a lot of things going on however they're very sexually attracted to you we've got the empress at the bottom of the deck so i do see that they are very very attracted to you sexually um but i think they're kind of taking their time here look we have the hermit under the empress <laughs> this person has a lot of hermit energy coming out here there's some kind of imbalance the two of pentacles just fell out on that seven of pentacles can we find out what the burden is here with the ten of pentacles i mean the ten of wands Ooh, the leap of faith. This person's a little scared to come towards you, I'm seeing here. Can we clarify this uh, hangman? Clarify the nine of swords. The four of cups. Bottom of the deck, the emperor. Look, emperor and empress energy. Divine counterparts here divine counterparts this person feels a certain type of attraction and connection to you so sexually this person i think you know what i'm picking up honestly i feel like this person feels a strong sexual connection to you i feel like this is someone that you already know i don't think this is someone new here Aries I think this is someone that you already know especially because your energy is coming out here and then we have the Empress I feel like this is someone that you already know um, somebody who's in your realm here someone that you could know at work not even necessarily so but you're gonna know who this person is Aries this is someone who is like I said a wallflower it's almost like they want you to come to them is almost what I'm picking up here okay they see potential here but it's just a matter of finding balance with with this potential okay it's almost like I almost I'm almost picking up an energy that they want you to come towards them okay because we have the ten of swords and the I mean sorry the ten of wands and the fool here it's almost like they're a little nervous here to take a leap of faith is what I'm seeing with the hangman. They want to explore this. Okay. They want to explore this with the nine of wands here. Another 
another thing I'm picking up, it's not for everyone, take it how it resonates, but this could be someone from the past who wants to give this another try, but they're a little skeptical about it, okay? They're definitely attracted to you. They definitely feel like you two belong together, especially with that emperor and empress. That's really crazy that it came out. They're, they're attracted to you. They're sexually attracted to you. Um, they want to move towards you, but there's resistance here coming from this individual, okay? I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into their sexual energy towards you. Spirit, please show me clearly for Aries. Please show me clearly for Aries. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have temperance. Okay. So patience, alchemy, um, trying to get the right environment here. All right. Um, temperance is also a very sexual energy as well. Okay. Um, wanting to create the perfect environment to get this off the ground here um i'm seeing the two of swords invitation justice meeting two of pentacles warmth habit yeah you've definitely been with this person before okay um i feel like the energy between you two has was exhausted at one point okay i feel like i feel like you two are the type to I'm almost picking up an energy where you guys wore each other out a little bit, and I think that it kind of became stagnant here. Um, but I see, I see that this person wants to come back in, all right, especially on a sexual level here, because we have the meeting card. So this person wants to come back around, is what I'm getting. This is definitely somebody that you already know. You could have already had sex with them. If not, if you haven't, you de you still definitely know this person. And this person wants to have a physical connection with you, okay? They want to be closer to you, all right? They want that intimacy. I'm picking up a very intimate individual. There's not a whole heap of, like, insane passion. I feel like this person actually has an emotional connection to you and actually wants intimacy with you here. Um, but they, I think there's a fear of rejection, okay? They want to give you an invitation, but they're not sure, um, how you're gonna take that okay um, and then we have habit so this is another reason why I think that this person this is someone that you actually know um, again the sexual energy between the two of you is very intimate it's almost feels like um, there's already an established relationship like it could be pl platonic uh, which is fine but there is a sense of wanting to um, move to the next level so if you guys have already had sex this person is probably interested in a connection here um if you guys haven't this person is interested in being intimate with you okay this person isn't coming in just for passion this person is coming in with intimacy like i said this is a wallflower um this person is very emotional with that queen of water energy here all right um but this person even though they're attracted to you, they see the potential, they just, they're having a hard time coming towards you. I feel like they may have thought that they missed an opportunity with you as well, so maybe that's why they're kind of being a little standoffish. And they're waiting for the perfect time to approach you and show you that they're interested in intimacy with you. Um, this person feels a strong connection to you though with the Empress and the Emperor for sure very very strong connection to you that's why i'm saying this is someone that you know could be somebody from the past it could be that you have been sexually intimate with in the past or it could be someone i'm picking up almost like a friend like this is your friend and this person wants to take it to an intimate level is what i'm seeing here all right, Aries, this is what I got for you. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below to enter into the contest to f win a free read. If you're interested in a reading in general, definitely just um, look at the information box down below and you can contact me and I'll let you know uh, my rates and my availability as well. I'm pretty open right now, so now's a good time to, to come on in if you want a reading. Um, yes, thank you so much for watching and best of luck in May, guys. Love and light.